All right, am I audible? All right, am I audible? There I am. You talk some, Andy. There I am. You talk some, Andy. You talk some, Andy. Andy. Oh, Andy. sorry. Oh, what's up? Okay, there we are. Just checking our audibilities. Oh, yeah, sorry. I... All right, and we're live. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to WBPL 76. I am Stormsong. With me is Andy Van. And we Hello. are... Yeah, and we are continuing Final Fantasy VII. Hopefully our friend Paladin will be here soon. But first... I cast Mako Drain. No! It'll destroy our environment. All right, I have launched the game. stream this to you, Andy, so that you are not in the dark. Yay! I don't like the dark. The scary things in there. Yes. I think a lizard friend's gonna be a little late. Yes. Hey, Ramshackle. Hey, Lord Grimos. I was about to say, hey, Streamlabs, but I already knew you were there. All right, last we left off, we were in the train graveyard. So are you going to try and go after the uh, the chariot dude? Elagor? Uh, let's, yes, yeah, let's try that this time. Yeah. Can't remember if there was anything over here. Yep, nope. That's actually one of my favorite tracks from this game. You gotta, you gotta make sure you got your steel material so you practice your sticky fingers. Yeah. Ooh, spooky ghost! Ooh. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I attacked myself. What? Now, ladies and gentlemen, in Final Fantasy games, there's usually one easy way to deal with the undead. Or, I guess, two. Yep. But how is everyone out there today? I'm waiting on a giant, massive beef burrito. Oh, that would be so lovely right now. Ah, oh, beef struggle. I, like I've said several times, if I go too long without beef, I just start feeling ill. Mm. I need the sacred red flesh of our bovine brethren. Oh my. Okay, so Paladin is going to be just a smidge late, but he will be here. Hello, Mies Hugs. I think that's Maze, how it's... Maze Hughes. <laughs> eh. You know, I annoyed this one kid on a bus when I was a kid because I kept calling it Chukbu. I thought that's how it was pronounced. Hmm. He was like, it's Chukbu, you f expletive. Yep. So, I wonder how much of the train infrastructure is abandoned in Midgar, or is this just where they park them and just forget about them? Well, okay, so at the time that this game was made, uh, they probably weren't considering that too deeply. Uh, from the expanded games, we get that, uh, hey, Turtles VT, welcome. Um, we are WBPL 76, and I am Stormsong with Andy Van here, and we are playing Final Fantasy 7. The original, but with some graphical updates. Oh, come on, is that? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I can't get past there yet. So, um, I... 
they do talk at some length in the various expansions how uh, how Midgar was built over the course of about 30 years. And there was um, the initial loss of Sector 6 when they were first building it. So a lot of what you see in, like, the junk around is either from the various industrial factories or from the remnants of Sector 6 um, after it fell. So, like, a plate fall hadn't been unheard of before, but the area under Sector 6 wasn't inhabited yet, so... So wait, there was another? There was an actual a plate fall before this? Yes, but one that didn't have the human cost factor. Ah. Uh. I'm, I'm very sad that as much as I am a fan of things, or I think I'm a super fan of things, I don't know as much. I, I haven't... Well, and a lot of this is like, you have to read the Ultimanias and play all the extra games, and it... Honestly, I think you could be a fan of Final Fantasy VII and not necessarily know all the rest of the extended lore. I'm just that kind of person. I am a super lore whore, as it were. Lore whore, lore whore, tra la 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 la. Let's see. Whacker is in chat! No! Hey, Wacker. Hey, Wacker. How does it make you feel that her name is Aerith? <laughs> I always thought it was weird as a kid. Like, why do they call her Ares like the god of war? I don't understand. Uh, I think it's more in reference to Ares, the, uh, like the astrological sign. Okay. The astrological sign of the God of War? Uh. Oh, wait. No, I think I remember now where we need to go. Okay. Sorry, folks. Uh, it's been a little while since I played this version. And it can be a little oblique at times. That's fine. Oh, no. You're getting extra combat and experience. I bet this feels grinding. Oh, my God. This is supposed to be a good grinding spot. Yeah. Actually, can you do elemental restore and do damage to undead, or...? I... don't... Hmm. I don't think there'd really be any point. You just cast it. Like, cast... Cure... Probably cast, like, Cure All on all these ghosts. You know, I think you can. This might be one of the places in the game to do that. I don't think you have all yet, though, right? Uh, I have one all. I don't have elemental yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what's sad is, like, only in one of my recent playthroughs, which was, like, last year, I've realized the absolute monstrous power of enemy skill. Hmm... Yeah, enemy skill is always an extremely, like, important thing. There's the one that just gives you an insane amount of buffs. Like, they don't last as long as all the spells. Yeah. But getting that you're getting almost all the defenses and, and haste and, like, something else in one casting, that's messed up. Yeah. And then White Wind, I think trying to remember exactly about it, what was good. It's like a cure. It's a cure-all, but it's more powerful. I can't... I am actually having trouble remembering. Actually, in one of the games, that was the Blue Mage class. Blue Mages, they yeah. learn spells from monsters, but they... I don't think they really expanded on that much. Red Mage is usually the one that people think of the most. Yeah. Well, because it was like the multi mage type. Is there. Yeah. What am I missing? Well, Red here? Mage is like. Uh, Jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah. You're not going to learn uh, Flare or Meteor or um, Holy. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wack, Actually, that's what Wack, I mean. Wacker's angry because he's like, I remember how to do this. I'm like, I don't. <laughs> Yeah, there's been a blue mage in almost every version. Like, there's Kamari, there's Quina, Quistus, the enemy skill Materia. There's sort of two blue mages in six, but not really, but... Oh god, I smell someone picking their belly button. Do you know how fucking painful this is to watch? Uh, not as painful as your mic quality. <laughs> Shit, man. Um, okay, so remind me, Wacker. I'm go, it's go been a left, while. Left. No, 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 no. Go back up the. Um, I can't watch your stream, so I'm delayed. Go, go oh, to the left. It was for you some reason pop. I wasn't able to do that earlier. Okay, we're good. Yes, you were, you dumbass. Quiet, you. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. I, I actually kind of have <laughs> a thought, like, Don't hurt so you know well. how, like, everybody has their quote-unquote class type? Yeah. Now, I, I know Squall is, like, soldier, but let's say in some alternate timeline, Squall never got the Mako bath. You mean, I, I wonder what... You mean Cloud. Ah, oh, God, did I say Squall? Yes, you did. Probably. Mm -hmm. All right, Wacker, get the cheese grater. I deserve it. <laughs> yep. Anyway, I wonder what like I, I wonder what like base bones cloud would be like. I almost get the impression that he would have actually been a good caster. No, he's he's a he was a decent soldier, like not right. like soldier soldier, but just like a soldier, like fighter type. Um, based Warrior. on the two-handed sword and what we see from, like, Orin later, I kind of always wondered if Cloud might have more or less counted as a samurai. No, go in the train, go down, go right. No, I, I, I know where to go now. I'm just... Oh, wait, go down. No, go down. Know, I remember looking at his stats. He had, like, he was... He was... I guess someone called him, like, straight striker, but... Yeah. I thought for someone who was good with the sword, he also had high magic capability, too. Well, straight striker in that he has high, like, offensive, both in magic and weaponry. Well, I thought it was argued that his magic ability came after his uh, Mako infusion. Well, yeah, that's definitely the case, I would say. All right. Because, like I said, I was... I imagine, like, non-soldier uh, Cloud would have been, a like, a caster type, but it seems that he would have been, like, a... You know, no, uh, he he was a country boy. Like he was, he was all. He was, uh, Lundar, he was, this is this is not a mod. There, are, these are graphical only mods that yeah. he's playing with. This is the PC version, Steam version, and it's we're using Seventh Heaven to modify the uh, interface. Yep. Yeah. So it looks all, all right. Pretty. I am going to I'm going to hop off here. I just wanted to get on here and tell you how fucking painful this was to watch you <laughs> flail around. Hey, Hi, hey Rail. Also, Rail, you're invited to come in too if you wish. You are always part of this crew. If Rail comes in here, I want I want Crispy also in here so he can tell him how bad and wrong his uh, Star Wars opinions are. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. All right. I love you, Wacker. Tell your mom hi. Mm -hmm. And I'll farm guys. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think it's either that barrel or, or like right before you leave the train yard is where I usually mm -hmm. grind for uh, what's his face. Yeah, for Elagor. Hey, Ray. Yeah. Wacker's real lucky that I show that I took a little bit of time to get my mic plugged in. <laughs> Welcome anyway. to the stream, El Raylo. How do I know? I know Cloud was a country boy, but he—it came across that he was like the runt, you know, like the little kid. Not the runt. He was the kid who didn't have a dad. He, he was all in, the loner. In a time when you know that would carry a stigma. Yeah. Yeah, but wasn't he? Wasn't he usually depicted as being a lot smaller than the other kids? No, he's about the same size as them. He's the one that gets left out because I. 
I don't think they were using this kind of language at the time, but uh, I get the distinct feeling he's autistic, especially based on how they show him in Remake. He's yeah. definitely got issues with social cues and such. Yeah. Like, uh, he, he doesn't read people. Like, he wants to participate, but doesn't really know how. Yeah. This is why Final Fantasy VII is so popular, because it speaks to people. Mm-hmm. It was that, and it was like... It has like a dark, broody, cool... And when I say cool, not cool, like, tubular, but like, temperature cool atmosphere that resonated with me back then. Yeah. That's not what I intended. I was trying to reach this. Haha. -ha. But yeah, it, it the characters in it are very raw and very real. Yeah. They are multifaceted, even Cloud, who comes off as a dingus at first. Mm-hmm. Well, the guy who's only concerned about his paycheck is still willing to go back and help, you know, the one who's stuck. Yeah. I thought you didn't have to go help her. No, you do. You you aren't able to leave if... So, it depends on how you interpret it, because, of course, like... Oh, well, you can't leave until you get her, so maybe it seems less selfless, but if you know that, then inherently Cloud's going to help her before he leaves. And assuming that we don't assume the main character has foreknowledge of the player's behaviors, uh, we can sort of suss out that, oh, that maybe means that he's actually sympathetic to people. <laughs> An alternate timeline where Cloud decided to merge with Sephiroth. I mean, there are plenty of fan fictions to that end. I don't want to see those. Not that kind of merge, Storm. I didn't, I didn't even mean that kind of merge. <laughs> I literally meant, like... Uh, you Someone know. pointed out in the um, remake... Like, when you have Teeth in the party, when, when Sephiroth refers to her, he just says, like, go away. Like, yeah, everybody, he has something to say to, like, you know, agitate them with her. He's like, go away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's because they kind of imply that her and Sephiroth both have foreknowledge. Did I say Aerith? Yes. I meant Tifa. Jesus Christ. Oh, I heard Tifa also. I think Storm thought it was Aerith. Okay, yeah, so then, um... It's the idea that, like, t or if there's the, uh, the... Jesus Christ. Tifa's the one that basically could save Cloud, or... Or yeah. or did in the future, uh... Is, yeah, is the one that can reach him. I mean, Sephiroth knows she was there at the night that Cloud's, you know, doing... Lying to himself about. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna... It could just be like, oh crap, she was there too. She could blow this whole thing. Oh no, go away, go away. Yeah. Well, they, they, <laughs> they do a pretty intense scene involving that in... That... The Let's remake? See. Yeah. Um, well, the, well, in Rebirth. I, I won't give spoilers, but... We start to see uh, Cloud going off his rocker a bit earlier than... In the original... It's literally like in one of the very, very early scenes of the remake. So. I know. Yeah, I, so. I, I, I was almost disappointed. I'm like, why are they revealing him right now? But well, to you... be fair, it's like how old of a reveal? Oh it yeah, was done yeah. in the nineties. But <laughs> it's a, it's also that they have way more canvas to work with. So it's not like they're going to release the information at a different pace. And if the big secret is revealed 140 hours into three remakes worth of game, then I mean, it's gonna feel a little out of nowhere, as it were. I mean, if, if you were to play Final Fantasy VII, the original, uh, like, I think I might have gotten this, too, when I played it. It's like, you know, you're dealing with Shinra, and you're dealing with the Prez and his son, and then you get out of the city, and you go to the, you go to uh, Kale Town, or whatever it's called, and they tell the story, and it's like, who the hell is this Sephiroth guy? Yeah. Sephiroth. 
Tifa just needs you to do her a solid. The Abridged series is not canon. There is, is. Okay, and I could have misinterpreted this, but, like, I got the distinct feeling they were referencing the Abridged series in Rebirth because there are several times in the game where a quest giver will ask you to do them a solid, and it's almost all the things that you don't want to do. That would be both subtle and amazing if they did that. It could also just be coincidental and do me a solid is something people say regularly enough, but I I interpreted it that way. Also, Cookie, yes, Tifa is a badass mother effer. Um, and many other things besides, like, she's actually a very good character. Yeah. Sorry, I'm going to run around here for a few minutes to see if I can get Elagor, but I'm not going to belabor. Ah, here we are! Yay! Did somebody call my name? <laughs> so does, she, does he give a special staff in this one? Yes, it should be. That is one thing that annoyed me about the uh, remake, was mm -hmm. that he... Uh, you get a special equipment, Aerith, in the remake by stealing it from him. Yeah. That is the only weapon in that entire game that is not in a chest somewhere that you have to steal from a boss. Yeah. Can't remember All what, right. what spell that is. I think it might also be one of the ones with one of her best abilities, too. So, I know that I think it's agility or dexterity that increases your ability to steal. Um, there we like are. Lower HP. Yay. We have no further need of you. Okay, so he's not actually harmed by healing. He's healed by healing. So does that mean he's not undead? I guess he's in this version. Yeah, he's because, not coded as undead, at least. Because, yeah, he's definitely undead in Remake. Because I would assume he's undead. But you know what? Now that you look at it, he does look like a construct of some sort. You could argue he's not undead and just a spirit of death. Yeah. There's or a difference. He's, he's like a spirit that's like taken over. From what I understand in, in um, Rebirth, like m machines could just like golems can just come about. Yep. Mako's like, weird it, like that. It's mm -hmm. like a pile of a pile of garbage could just like somehow, you know, like a yokai of some sort, like just, you know, the spirit like, you know, having it. So maybe you know that's what? like... I never thought about it in the context of yokai, but that makes so much sense. Oh yeah, I mean Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 7 is Shinto all over the place. Oh yeah. yeah no, it's just one of those things I never thought about it. Usually it's like all sh like Shinra tech and seems very western inspired. Well, yeah, because they're, they were trying to appeal to a western audience, uh this particular time around. I mean, it's always been fairly western themed. Yep. God, that's a rumor that would spread fast. What? That the plate is dropping. Oh, it. well. Standing. I do like how they handled that in the remake. Yeah. Lead buffet is open, motherfucker! I always thought that big metal tower was the was the uh, pillar that would explode, but no, it's the big cement block that you're not really looking at. Yeah, that had to do with the clarity of the game's images at the time. Yeah, metal tower is there for uh, maintenance and such. Yep. Controls. Wedge, you all right? And now this is where the game starts getting real. Cloud, you remembered my name. Barrett's up top. Help him. Sorry I wasn't any help. I'm going up. Aerith, you look after Wedge. Aerith, do me a favor. Do me a solid. I have a bar called Seventh Heaven in this neighborhood. There's a little girl named Marlene there. Don't worry, I'll put her somewhere safe. It's dangerous here. Everyone get away from the pillar, quickly. Everyone get out of Sector 7. 
I just thought of something. Yeah. Is that is the older man on the absolute left? Is that Johnny's father? Yes, that is. Oh. It's kind of funny how Johnny has his own little adventure. Johnny all, all, Johnny all is his idiot. own little venture. But I don't know. Does his parents make it out? Uh That's a good question. I don't remember. Cuz it's not like when you talk to him after said events he's like tore up about it like Yeah, you ever, you're right. I mean, it's not like his character was uber developed in the original game. It was just a, kind of a running gag. Yeah. And now I'm going to make two files because I just don't want to mess up. Yep. I just realized that in remake, one of Johnny's prime uh, like traits is that he can run real fast. He's a running joke. My god. <laughs> no need to worry about the seven-year-old running the bar by herself. Yeah. She has an M11. These guys. What is it about these guys? I think they... Can do you steal something from these guys? You know, you might be right. Pretty sure you can steal something from most of these. I... Yeah. My memory makes me think these guys have grenades. But it has been They're... a while. <laughs> it's like there's something they have. What are these guys called? I don't know, but you just reminded me of one of my favorite things in this game. What? To throw grenades at people. <laughs> oh yeah, that's an option. Click. I rarely, almost never used, like, the grenade options or the, you know, magic items that... I usually just sold them. Yep. But I'm pretty sure those guys drop something valuable. That's... But I think it's, like, ether, maybe? Uh, I know that the ghosts back in the graveyard drop ether. And if he drops into this chat, he'll be able to make booze for us. <laughs> what I can remember, what I can remember right now is like when you get the Shinra Tower, you're gonna want to be on the lookout for the guys that you yeah. steal carbon bangles and the hard edge. Yeah, the level or the class one soldiers and the uh, mechanized troopers. Yeah. Or, sorry, carbon bangles will last you a long time. Yep. Soldier Bolt! See, I you can't know, do I... Tifa's because that's... I don't know, that's a lot of cursing if I do Tifa's lines. <laughs> yep. I wish I had my, uh... I still have my Brady Games uh, walkthrough. Yep. I... This is a uh, a confession. Mm -hmm. Whenever I'd buy a Final Fantasy game, I always got the walkthrough guide, and I'd follow the walkthrough guide because I didn't want to miss anything. I get it. I mean, I would have bullied you as a kid, and then you know, secretly gone and done the same thing myself. But nerds. The, the sad thing about the Brady games is that it does spoil shit. <laughs> yeah, it's got at least a Final Fantasy Seven one. I think they learned their lesson from that, but I'm not sure. Y'all are nerds, needing guidebooks, says the man who memorized the Paper Mario guidebook. Yep. So, 
how many of you just imagine that potions are applied to other people by literally throwing it and cracking it over their head? <laughs> I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to take a quick bio break. Oh, Entertain my bio. audience. We don't have that material yet. So I am of the opinion that it goes with the 8-bit theater one. It, there was a bit where uh, Red Mage threw out a potion at the exact right angle so where he was getting launched through the air and hit the ground and almost died immediately. The potion then smashed against his corpse and revived him. I mean, it's, it's either you like... I always imagine that it's a physical application, like, on the surface, but I'm pretty sure potions you drink. They're not balms. This is why I like the way Pokemon does its potions, where they're actually, like, little medicinal sprays. Oh, yeah. A little spritz bottle. But then that's not a potion. That's... Yes, but it's called a potion. There's lots of stuff that do, calls, <laughs> po that calls healing items potions, even if it's not an actual potion. Because it's just like the terminology they use for it. Mercury oh, Alpha, Nintendo Power is actually how I found out about my favorite game of all time, which is Golden Sun The Lost Age. I actually saw it in Nintendo Power and was like, ooh, mama, mama, get me this, get me this, this looks real fun. If my Final Fantasy VII strategy guide wasn't so worn... And it wasn't, it, if it's not like really important to me as a you know childhood memory, I could probably sell it for a good bit. I mean, you could sell most stuff like that for a good bit. I'm pretty sure somewhere in my house is the guidebook for uh, Golden Sun Dark Dawn, the DS one. I wish I didn't break my Teddy Ruxpin, and I wish I still had my Megazord. <laughs> Oh, God, yeah, no, I had the Power Rangers movie Megazord and the Power Rangers Turbo Megazord, and I miss both of them. They were I had so the Megazord cool. that actually came with, like, you know, each individual Zord that would, you know, you'd snap together. Yeah, yeah, they'd transform and snap together, and then by the time I was a teenager and got my first job and actually had money, they stopped doing that with Megazords. I was very angry. I am back, baby. Also, yes, that made me very sad. Probably because it was an expensive toy, to be honest. Yeah, so Legos out here it. still selling sets for a hundred plus dollars. Cloud, I'm glad I could talk with you one last time. Don't say last. That's all right. Because of our actions, many people died. This is probably our punishment. I mean, this doesn't have to be last. I mean, you can just stay here forever. Oh, here's an example. There's a Lord of the Rings Baradur, Sauron's tower with the eye on the top. That's $459. Oh, dang. Tifa, Cloud, you came. Be careful, they're attacking from the helicopter. Better equip ourselves and attack full force. Right. I do appreciate that the game gives you the warning beforehand. Oh, hey, there's a boss fight coming. Now, I guess it doesn't explicitly say it, but if you know anything about RPGs, you know what's about to happen. Alright, chat. What's, uh... $50 in 1985. What's that in today's money? <laughs> so, Lizard... While healing magic is a thing, and there's things like Revive and Phoenix down, I'm pretty sure Final Fantasy implies that you just lose consciousness, and that's what Phoenix down and Revive heals, and they can't actually bring people back from the dead. There's also the difference between, say, Cloud or Barret or Tifa's extremely, like, developed and physically powerful bodies, and that of a common schmo. Yeah. Here they come! You're too late once I push this button. That's all, folks. Mission accomplished. We have to disarm it. Cloud, bear it, please! I can't have you do that. 
no one gets in the way of Reno and the Turks. Right, because in this game, this is the first time you fight him. Was that first steal a non-success I wasn't reading? I was paying attention to Barrett's diamond. Um, I wasn't paying attention to that part either. I was paying attention to Barrett's diamond. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, Nothing to see. What I was okay. going to ask Nothing. is, does Rude show up in this fight? Or? No, Rude won't show up till later. Okay. Um, they had, in the remake, you fight Reno in the church, whereas in this you only yeah. escape from him. Um, and then in, uh, in this fight they have Reno and Rude together. Okay, so Rude does join this fight. In the remake, yes. Oh, wait, oh, okay, just in the remake, not in this one. Okay. Because there's a very interesting thing about Ru Rude's battle AI yeah. that I don't want to spoil, but I want to point out after the fact. Yeah, you know? I, I know what you're talking about. I don't. Well, good, that means it'll be a surprise for you later on, Andy. Yay! <laughs> I have a cookie and go sit down. Um nom nom. Um nom nom. Oh, I tell you what, a nice hot soft cookie, like made straight out the oven. Oh god, and now I want peanut butter cookies. What have you done? To oh me? yeah, peanut butter cookies. I hear Kiwi laughing. That was Nothing not like... Kiwi laughing. I muted myself because I was about to ask her if she'd be willing to make cookies tonight. No, but yes. Hey, hon. She's got her headphones on. I'm going to have to poke her. Hey, hon. Could I ask you to make peanut butter cookies tonight? Because hmm? I thought of them and now I want them. It's time. Farewell, She's jackasses! Not well today, so. <laughs> yep. No cookies for me tonight, but such is life. What about Whirlin or Squick? I mean. Damn, it's a time bomb! Cloud, I don't know how to stop it! Try it! Don't fuck up! <laughs> it's not a normal Black time bomb. Firefox has a. Oh yes, this scene. That's right. You've all had a hard er, a hard time disarming this one. It'll blow the second some stupid jerk touches it. Yes. Please stop it. <laughs> Only a Shinra executive can set up or disarm the emergency plate release system. Shut your hole. I wouldn't try that. You just might make me injure our special guest. Aerith! Oh, you know each other. You know what? I should start distributing roles here. Rail, you're sung now. How nice you could come see each other one last time. You should thank me. What are you going to do with Aerith? I haven't decided. Her orders were to find and catch the last remaining agent. It's taken us a long time, but now I can finally report this to the president. Howdy, Sasquatch. Don't worry, hey, she's all right. Oh. Yeah. One of those things. I thing forgot about the slap. <laughs> yeah. Aerith! One of those things that they did not put in remake because that would not have. <laughs> well, it, especially because Seng is someone who we're going to become more sympathetic to over time, which I don't think mm -hmm. they wanted to make that risk in the remake. Hurry and get up. 
<laughs> well, it should be starting. Ri oh yeah, sorry. Well, it should be starting right about now. Think you can escape in time? Yes. From same. what I've seen, from what I've seen of him and the expanded stuff that I have consumed, like this is very uncharacteristic of him. It's like he's, it's like he's acting. Oh, he's definitely trying to prove that he's capable of being a monster when his boss tells him to be, which. In Remake, they definitely prove that. Um, it's also kind of implied that he was maybe a nicer guy during the era of Crisis Core, and then certain things happened which caused him to become more harsh. It could also just be, like, early appearance, like, they hadn't really sorted out his character. Yeah, oh yeah, kind of yeah. Game. Most definitely. I All always right. thought that in the creation process... Ooh! very smooth in the creation process like you know people get ideas and characters change and stuff like that yep god that must be horrifying uh remake does an amazing job of it you know that scene of tv where it's like ah! They uh, do some very intentional musical selections in this part in Remake and then later in Rebirth when you are seeing, like, what happened in the past in Coral. And I love how the president's just listening to opera in the background as it's coming down. Like a true psychopath. Ugh, okay. So, I have a terrible fear of grounds, and platform falling beneath me is definitely one of the things that triggers it. Mmm, yeah. Okay, Andy, do not let me forget. We need to make sure to find the uh, Turtle Paradise poster in Wall Market before we do anything silly. Uh, Andy, you're Barrett. Marlene! Biggs! Wedge! Jesse! God damn it! Damn it! Damn it all to hell! What the hell it's all for? Ah! Hey, Barrett. Barrett! Ah! Shouldn't he be shooting when at it? Cloud came to rescue me. He dressed as a girl. <laughs> he gave the name Thunderhead. <laughs> Barrett, stop. <laughs> Please stop, Barrett. Ah! There he goes. I felt it was appropriate to have Andy play this, the shouting person. Andy might have people in the house. God damn it. I'm visiting my mommy. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Marlene. Barrett? Marlene is... I think Marlene's safe. Huh? Right before they took Aerith away, she said, Don't worry, she's all right. She was probably talking about Marlene. <laughs> really? But... Mix. Which? Jesse. All three of them were in the pillar. Think I don't know where they had? But we... All of us fought together. I don't want to think of them as dead. And the other people in Sector 7? This is all screwed up! They destroyed an entire village just to get to us. They killed so many people. If I recall, they killed more than a village. It's like 50,000 people are killed. Yeah, a, a lot of people. Are you saying it's but... our fault because Avalanche was here? Innocent people lost their lives because of us? No, Tifa. No, Tifa. I ain't in hell no. It ain't us. It's a damn Shinra. They never been nobody but the Shinra. They're evil and destroyed our planet just to... Build the power line on damn pockets with gold. 
If we don't get rid of them, they're gonna kill this planet! Our fight ain't never gonna be over until we get rid of them! I don't know. Well, you don't know? You don't believe me? It's not that I'm not sure about me, my feelings. And what about you? Yo! Where'd you think he's going? Oh, Aerith. Well, yeah, that girl. What's up with her? I don't really know, but she's the one I left Marlene with. Damn it, Marlene! Barrett sounds like Mr. T before his voice dropped. <laughs> Tiva, ain't no turning back now. Okay, I gotta stop. It's actually hurting my throat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's... <laughs> We're past the dialogue-heavy part, however. Well, yeah, I, I always thought Barrett sounded like Mr. T. Yep. I'm angry, because they showed me a materia, and... Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. R Rail, look out. What? It's a house. I'm running away from oh, the house. Oh, God, no! <laughs> home ownership! Taxes! <laughs> no, it's not just any house. It's a hell house! Fox loves those movies. Yep. Take me to Marlene. Take me to You're going to help Aerith? World. Yeah, but before that, there's something I want to know. What's that? It's about the Ancients. In my veins courses the blood of the Ancients. I am one of the rightful heirs to this planet. I am the rightful Balenciaga of this planet. Sephiroth. Lysanderoth. Are you alright? Hold it together, man. Okay, now I should be able to get what I was looking for! Honestly, the sense material. Isn't that the first time you can get that? Yes. The extremely useful materia. You don't get enemy skill till you're on your way out of the city, right? I believe that's when you get your first one, yeah. You get it in the Shinra Tower somewhere. Yeah. Enemy skill. Super OP. Yeah. Oh yeah, we were talking about it earlier. There's the one you get from the Animantine Tortoise, the... What is it? Guard up? Mm-hmm. And then and white, white Wind. Yeah, which is like a super heal-all. I mean, there's one you get from the motorcycles just outside the city that straight up trivializes everything but the giant snake. Mm-hmm. Well, because you're a little oh, o you're a little over leveled when you first leave the city. Oh, there's magic missile you can get too, which Matron. to be honest isn't yeah. that great, but it looks funny. Yeah. The the missile is what I'm talking about. The swarm of missiles. Yeah, because it kills small enemies rather rapidly and handily. Yeah. Oh. I usually get magic missile from the, um, like, the machines. Oh, wait, no, it is. A, it yeah, is. they're, they're, they're yeah. like the motor. It's called Matra Magic. Yeah, they are about the I was, I was thinking of the uh, sweepers. You. Yeah. You know, on the off chance that you somehow manage to get the uh, snakes blue magic early, congratulations, you've just nuked the first disc. Yep. Or Tron. We're taking care of the flowers for the lady here. Is that okay? No, it's not! No, I don't mind. Take good care of them. Sure. Just remember there being something back here I can come back and get. No? Oh, I'm thinking of the remake. <laughs> you, you pro yeah, yeah, there's a chakra here in the remake. I remember yep. that. And then... Oh, yeah. The place we can't leave yet. <laughs> Burn them when you leave. Possibly. <laughs> oh, the flowers. <laughs> Steal their shit. <laughs> oh, God. I do actually like what the game did, or the remake did, with the thieves in this area. Uh, yeah. The three dinks who show up. Yeah, uh, I do like it in Remake. In Rebirth, they become freaking obnoxious. Oh no, that's unfortunate. Fortunately, you never deal out with them outside of the Calm area, but 
they're still a factor. Even with all that commotion, you went on like nothing happened. You must have been through some... or through the mill to get like that. Trauma. It allows people to be unempathetic. Just a quick flashback of fire. Yep. Uh, that's one of the messed up things Sephiroth says in Remake. Whenever he casts a fire spell on you, uh, oh, the memories we share. Bruh! You know, I wouldn't have been surprised if 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 a uh, cloud has a fire like pyrophobia. Um, I mean that would characterize with him starting with lightning instead of fire. Although they start him with fire, fire in remake. Do they? Oh yeah, I guess they. They yeah. start him with lightning. In remake, no. In this, yes. In this, he starts with lightning. Oh. I always switch him to lightning in remake because. Cloud is lightning, and I will say nothing yeah. else to the matter. But I also get kind of what they're going for in that, because uh, there's this whole line of Sephiroth's as he's, you know, trying to screw with Cloud, saying, uh, fill your hollow heart with rage and burn your world to the ground like I did. So I wonder if it's playing on that sort of motif that they're slowly installing. This was the kid we're not going to rob. And I don't believe there are any new weapons here. But I'm just double checking in case. Yeah, no, we're good. Sure is loud outside. Jeez. Imagine waking up to that. Oh, man, I slept all day yesterday, man. What happened yesterday? Oh, yeah. There's some graphical overflow errors there. Cloud, wasn't it? It's about Aerith, isn't it? Sorry. The Shinra have her. I know. They took her from here. They were here. That's what Aerith wanted. Why is Shinra after Aerith? Aerith is an ancient, the sole survivor. What did you say? But aren't you her mother? Not her real mother. Must have been 15 years ago. During the war, my husband was sent to the front, some faraway place called Wu Tai. One day, I went to the station because I got a letter saying he was coming home on leave. Oh my gosh, uh, they expand on this scene in Rebirth. It is a kick in the stomach. Much sadness. Well, because in Rebirth, there's a part where you have to go through each person's trauma. And, oh, Aerith, boy. and Aerith's is not being able to find a doctor for her mother. This is gonna sound mean, it's not meant to be, but Aerith would blame herself. Oh yeah, no, you get distinct impressions that there's a lot of guilt there. Uh, yeah, there's uh, Rail and Kiwi. Um, oh wait, if Rail and Kiwi have children, it's gonna be Johnny. Um, no. By the way. I joke, I joke. Notice that there was the, the, the goth girl and the boyfriend from earlier in the train where they were like, I love you, I love you, and they're drunk. Yeah, and then later they're drunk and they hate each other. My husband never came back. I wonder if something happened to him. I'm sure his leave was just cancelled. I went to the station every day, then one day... Uh, poor Afalna. Hey, Max. Sunday fun day. You used to see this sort of thing a lot during the war. Her last words were, 
Please take Aerith somewhere safe. My husband never came back. I had no child. I was lonely. So I decided to take her home with me. This is mine now. Aerith and I became... <laughs> wow, this is mine now. Became very... Urkla's very quickly. That child loved to talk. She used to talk to me about everything. She told me how she escaped from some kind of research laboratory that her mother had already returned to the planet. She wasn't lonely. Many other things. So real quick to an answer Thunderclap Sasquatch. Uh, no, because... From Aerith's stuff, we know that uh, her Elmira's husband died well before uh, that she became even a teenager. Yes, yeah, Zach from... Zach would have been ten at the time. Yeah, he would have been a little boy. Yeah. Solid theory. Otherwise, though, uh, yeah. entertaining one at the very least. Yeah. Aerith just blurted that out all day. All of a sudden, when I asked her if something happened. Someone dear to you just died. His fear was coming to see you, but he's already returned to the planet. At the time, I didn't believe her. But... Several days later, we received a note saying my husband died. And that was it. A lot had happened, but we were happy until one day. We want you to return Aerith to us. We've been searching for her for a long time. No, never! Aerith, you're a very special child. You're of special blood. Your real mother was an ancient. At that moment, I found out she was an ancient. The ancients will lead us to a land of supreme happiness. Aerith will be able to bring happiness to all those in the slums. That is why Shinra would like Aerith's cooperation. He's wrong. I'm not an ancient. I'm not. But Aerith, surely you hear voices sometimes when you're all alone. I don't. Uh, I'm not a psycho. I'm not uh, schizo. Yeah. Oh, now I'm just thinking of the scene with her and Sang in Rebirth. Uh, all I can think is Bro walk into the house, picked out the little girl, and was like, that one's the ancient one. Yep. <laughs> Well, he was in charge of guarding her. Like, he's always been assigned to her. I know, I know. I'm, I'm sassing over calling a little girl an ancient. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how she avoided the Shinra all these years. The Shinra need her, so I guess they wouldn't harm her. But why now? She brought a little girl here with her. Seng found them on the way here. She probably wasn't fast enough to get away. She decided to go with Shinra, or to Shinra, in exchange for the girl's safety. Marlene. Marlene? Aerith was caught because of Marlene? I I'm sorry. Marlene's my daughter. I'm really sorry. You're her father? How in the world can you ever leave a child alone like that? Please don't start with that. I'm always thinking about what might happen to Marlene if I... You gotta understand something. I don't got any answers. I want to be with Marlene, but I gotta fight. Because if I don't, the planet's going to die. So I'm going to keep fighting. But inside, I'm always thinking of her. Just want to be with her. Always. See, I'm going in circles now. I think I know what you mean. She's upstairs asleep. Why don't you go see her? He sounds crazy, but he's also right. My this, is one of my, this is one of the reasons why I think Barrett's probably the best and more most fleshed out character in the game yeah because he's he has to have so many i say mask but maybe personas well they literally do that in remake where whenever he has his sunglasses on it's when he doesn't want you to see what he's feeling yeah i was about to bring that up too of the and then once oh. you find that out that's when his gl uh, glasses finally start to become transparent enough for you to see it Daddy, the don't. Glasses are on. It's Barrett the Revolutionary. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. Daddy, don't cry. Your whiskers hurt. In a way, he has a lot in common with Cloud because 
he has this upfront persona of like being a gruff badass, mm -hmm. but in reality, like he's kind of a goofball if you think about it, because he. Dummy. I mean, a big thing about the game is being honest with your emotions. Oh yeah, every character in this, except for Aerith, has porcupine syndrome. Porcupine syndrome? Oh. Uh, you want to be close to other people, but you stab them when they get close. Oh no, Tifa... Doesn't seem off standish. No, but she does hide things from people in the desperate attempt to. So she doesn't have porcupine syndrome, but she's still being, like every other character, fundamentally dishonest with herself yeah. and others in an attempt to survive. Don't say that. You're going after Aerith, right? Yeah. I'm coming with you. We're going right into Shinra headquarters. You've got to be prepared for the worst. I know. Right now, I have I feel I have to push myself to the limit. If I stayed here, I'd go crazy. Hey, Mad Crow lad. It's the crow. Sorry, but can you take care of Marlene a bit longer? Yes, I don't mind. Three years later. Yeah, there you go. This place is dangerous now. You better go somewhere safe. You're right, but promise me that you'll come back to her. Don't get yourself killed. Alternate universe where uh, the mother says, like, I'm coming too, and she pulls out a fucking bar. <laughs> and they sent it to me for my husband. There ain't no train that goes up there anymore. Let's go to Walmart. We might be able to find something there. Still love, find low prices. I still love that uh, line in uh, Final Fantasy VII Abridged. Wait, you're saying the flower girl lives here? And this place exists? In the middle of the ghetto? <laughs> Apparently Crow has never played uh, uh, any of the Final Fantasies except for ten. <laughs> Little old granny with a bar is vaguely horrifying, yes. Dun, dun. Ah, some of my favorite monsters. The Hedgehog and the Crawler. Yep. You know what? I'd like miniatures of stuff. You know, in, in this wonderful day and age where we have 3D printing, I could probably get some nicely detailed Final Fantasy VII monsters to paint. Yes. Paint them all. God will That's know his right. own. The monster I hate the most in this game, uh, I think it's called, is it the Jesper or is it the Reaper? You, you find it outside of... Um... It's the Jester outside of Gold Saucer. Sorry, I knew exactly yeah. what you were saying. Yeah. I do not remember the Jester, so either I didn't run into it, or... It uses, it uses card tricks to like do status effects on you. Oh, actually, before that, the toads. Oh, God. Yep. But that was before you learned to, like, equip yourself with, like, anti-toad yep. shenanigans. Yes, Rail, this is your future home. I mean, I'm looking at moving to Michigan, so not too surprising. <laughs> It'll just have more chainsaws. In Crystal Chronicles, they have a house, a moving house, called Armstrong. Ducky and uh, Cookie were just talking about this last night. Oh, having a Hell House mini? <laughs> yep. Ah, Tifa gets her next limit break. We will get to try that here soon. The AKA is really, really getting out of the way. Yep. I'd be tempted to ask you to never remove her li limit break from Dolphin Blow, just for the meme. Well, yeah. Hmm. What's the meme? Uh, in the remake, uh, 
or not remake, in the abridged, they strongly imply that her teacher might have been some kind of dominatrix. Um, and that all of her attack techniques uh, happen to have unfortunate names. Like yeah. Dolphin Blow. I just think that, like, Dolphin Blow is just a funny attack name. Yeah. All right, we are looking for the Turtle Paradise poster first, and then we are doing the thing. Swine! Hey, Andy, could you do me a favor and look up the Turtle Paradise poster where it'd be? All right. Oh, it's going to be in the, um... Is in the bar? The bar. The oh, okay. Yeah, we'll get a look there. Although I am going to bring up something funny here. Hey, it's you. Sorry, but I already heard about you. In addition to dressing like a woman, it seems you like to smash and grind things. We only let cultured customers in. Got it? Then you better leave. So, yeah. <laughs> We're not allowed back at the red light district anymore. <laughs> Sentences you never want to hear your friends and or family say. All this is just reminding me of the old Cactar and Tonberry Newgrounds films. Yep. Oh, wait. Yeah, now I think this guy's open so we can finally... Hmm. No, we'll hold off for now. I'll be honest, I have never found cover to actually be worth the materia slot. So, it's... Uh... Whoa. I usually gave it to Barrett. I... Because he was very tanky. Wait a minute, I just pressed something. And cover is good for um, building up your um, limit break. Save file deleted. Okay, there we Not go. Again. Fox's phone just did a beep when I said that, and I had a <laughs> tiny panic attack. Muscle mommy. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ladder Maker just uh, came in in time to hear that I was. Turns out I'm banned from the red light district. All I can think is. How was I supposed to know? Oh, is it in the bathroom? These were banned in England. Nope. Hmm. Oh my god! Every time I try to take a shit, somebody barges in! Yeah. Do you. Here, I'll go ahead and look up. I swear it was in here, but I'll look it up. Just want to make sure I didn't already collect it here. There's one in that kid's room. The one that you're supposed to rob. Wait, really? On the front. Yeah, you didn't know that? Oh. Well, okay, so are you looking at a list right now? Yes. Well, that means mission failed already, right? Well, no, because the kid's room is in Sector 5, so we just have to run back there real quick, because... I mean, we could technically get it later, because there's only one of them that's actually missable. But I don't want to... Wait till later. Um... <laughs> Because you get some pretty good items, and then, uh... I could have sworn the kid you stole from was in Sector 7. No, he's in no, Sector 5. He's in the very right of Sector... He should be asleep still, I think. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The next one should be somewhere in um, the Shinra building. Yeah. So what if you got to the Shinra building, and it turned out they'd actually been missaying it the whole time, and Shira's waiting for you? I mean, that would be unfortunate. Shira from the Battles of uh, Masters of the Universe? Yes. Yep. 
I would argue now she's better known for the Princess of, pa Princess of Power series on uh, Netflix, which I hear is actually good. It's also like four to six seasons somewhere in there, which is way more than I'm willing to watch at the moment. Mm hmm. I know Squick practicing for attacks later tonight on Storm's PC. Hell house! All right, so I'm going to ask a question that is of the obvious, because even I think it is, but I just want to ask one for conversation's sake and two to kind of uh, solidify it. The war between Shinra and Wutai could be kind of a, a summary or uh, allegory of the war, like World War II. Uh, no, it's closer to like uh, Chiquita Banana and the shit that went on in... South America. Really? Because I always thought that uh, Wu Tai was like just pretty much Japan. Wu Tai is pretty much Japan, but Shinra was not a national entity at the time. They Take were. Shinra like the East India Trading Company. Yeah, they were a company that was trying to force everyone to buy from them. And when Wu Tai refused, they said, well, we're setting up a trade center here anyway, or in this case, a maker reactor. Um. Get bent, loser. Apply boot. It's those. Okay, so. There you go. So there's Turtle Paradise one, and was the second yeah. one in Wall Market? Uh, let's see. The guide says the second one is the Shinra Building first floor lobby. Okay, so the one that we can miss. Okay, so then we're good, I think. Like. I remember, you either get this now, or you get it at the end of the game. That one was get now, or at the end of the game. The The Shinra building one is uh, get now, or never. Well, I'm, no, the, the, the other one I think you could get um, when you go to the tower again later. Because uh, I used to do that. I used to always take the stairs. Real quick, to save Lizard some time, there's no save transfer from Remake to Rebirth. Yeah, uh, there is, if you have save data of a complete, uh, it will have you start out with a few extra items. But yeah, no, there's no save data transfer. Oh, sure, you're not like level 50 and have all your uh, stuff maxed out? Correct. Don't oh, they completely okay. change the leveling system pretty much anyways? Yeah, it's a, it's a new system. Um, Why am I level 1 again? It's closer to Final Fantasy X's system. Actually, that reminds me... With the uh, Sphere Grid. The RPG series I've been playing, um, the Legend of Heroes series, specifically the Trails in the Sky. Trails in the Sky 1 and 2 are the same main character and take place literally two picks up right at the very end of 1. Mm -hmm. And how they justify resetting a bunch of your skills and such is because you get... Uh, new gear. Basically, the magic works on clockwork devices, and so you get a new version of the device that's stronger and has more potential in exchange for it uses all new equipment, so you have to start from scratch. Yep. But you still have all your levels. Yep. I think that's a very good way of doing the uh, classic Metroid reset your gear with a new game. Mm-hmm. Now I used to hate climbing this damn thing. Oh yeah, no, screw this part. This part of the, the first time I tried to play Final Fantasy VII, this part is the part that got me to put it down for like a month. Yeah, like trying to guess the uh, the swing. Oh yeah, this is gonna be uh... yeah. There's not the shiny wire of hope. It is the shiny wire of betrayal. We need to grab something before we go up, though, because. Just hit me. Gotta grab a new dress. Ew, no. Not my thing. I wonder if that tank top is like... I wonder if people can, um... Like, identify it. Like, is that an identifiable tank piece? Or is that just, like, generic made? Okay, there we go. We got the batteries. 
Like, that's a T-84 tank top. Oh. I will miss the dragon, buddy. I never noticed that hand with the pistol. That's the first time I've noticed it. Oh, yeah. Some of it's just different levels of... Robot hand. Yeah. Sometime I'm going to remem memorize the uh, Bahamut list in the <laughs> Uber series. <laughs> Bahamut Zero, Bahamut Dream Drop Distance, Bahamut Three, <laughs> Bahamut Prime. So those kids are just looking at that like, oh man, that's just a shame. And then like they go on to playing, not realizing the horror. Well, yeah, they. Go ahead, Stormy first. Well, yeah, they're kids. They they don't understand the horror. Yeah, now put it in your giant D cell. So I swear there's been studies done that uh, below a certain age, kids actually don't really conceptualize other people as being other people. Uh, it's not that they don't see them as other people. It's that they don't have enough experience and, like, Q read to understand the concept like empathy. Yeah, that, that's what I mean by, like, conceptualizing them. Not uh, Like, they understand, like, this is another person, like, logically, but not conceptually. It's not internalized. Hmm. I see what you're saying. Uh, I would also be careful with, like, studies that say things. Mm. Yeah, this is, uh, this is why, like, it's a thing that I thought it said, but it's a thing to think about. Not so much a, this is fact, all children are awful. Yeah, I, I, I hate hearing things like that. <laughs> oh, I see what I did wrong. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, you well, had to jump. You had to... If they can wink, they're on the road to learning to empathize and differentiate. Hmm. Huh. That's actually neat. Probably some... That's interesting. Here it is. Oh. To know it, but I do actually like kids. Oh, I see. Boy, here we go. Should should I put up a uh, guess for how many attempts this is gonna take you? I think I remember like right when you hear it, right when you hear like the second squeak, like when it goes, <clears throat> you're supposed to jump in the second part of the squeak, but. Okay, well, yeah, and uh, I was having some controller difficulties there. Um, okay, so we're going to now begin this nightmare. R real quick, Storm, before you try again, do you want me to set up a poll? Sure. Okay. We're not going to count Two. the... Uh, Two not... failed attempts. Ah, 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 <laughs> sorry. Yeah. No, it's okay. Um, I wasn't going to count the first one only because uh, it was uh, weirding me out with the controls for a second. Okay, so slightly earlier than that. So that's three. Okay, pull is up. Okay, so that was four. It's a quick 30 second pull, so be fast. Okay, so... Mostly just to keep it fair for the five and under. Oh, so, well, there it is. Yeah, we're we're definitely. Uh... <laughs> Pack your bags, everybody. This is going to be the rest of the night. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, fuck you, Rail. <laughs> Riveting gameplay. Yeah. How many was that? Uh, that was seven or eight by the end. Yay! Okay. Between five and ten. Oh my gosh, I hate myself right now. Why? Someone made some goop. <laughs> Mr. No Talk made some goop. Dang! Oh, do you have to take batteries out? No, uh, I forgot to... You know what? It's probably just an item, so I'm not going to worry about it. Because I don't think it's a key item. Don't you have... Don't you have... Completion. 
Yeah, no. Don't you have three batteries? <laughs> yeah, but it's that chest over to the left. Oh. I think you can jump off from here, right? I might be able to. Yeah, you can climb down that rope right there. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, so... Hey, fucking like Steve. potion or something. Okay. Either. Okay, so we just have to do it one more time then. You got an ether. Totally worth it. I think you should be able to jump to the right from here. Did they cover this in uh, abridged? Uh, in abridged, uh, no. They uh, they they do something else in abridged, which I will not repeat on stream. Okay. <laughs> Wacker came in for a little while and complained about me getting lost in the train area. Weak. Here we go again. <laughs> Actually, from right there, you could just grab the damn thing. You would think. We the can't game do does that. Not do a good job of showing like the three D aspect of this. Yeah. Some things did not age as well. Also, from the look, looks of that jump, the graphical mod is not helping your case any either. Like, it, it is in no way, shape, or form fixing that issue. Yeah. I'll be right back. Need to use the restroom. Alrighty. LeFou, I'm afraid I've been thinking. A dangerous pastime, I know. Shinra headquarters. Time for pose. Epic pose. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, now I'm sad. Night Owl's not here to complain about me not playing Persona. I mean, if you really want to destroy Shenra, you just kill off its buying base and just flatten all of the uh, plates. There you go. They won't harvest Mako if they don't have anybody to sell it to, right? Correct. I mean, yeah, they're just as day. complicit. They're just as complicit as you know the buying the shit anyway, even if they're ignorant about it. So which way are you going? I'm gonna I'm go. Pretty the sure you go to the front door. Yeah, I'm gonna do the fun way. Yeah, that's how you get the uh, next turtle paradise. Yep. You'll find it posted on the right side of the notice board in the far right corner of the lobby. You must read this flyer during one of your two visits to Shinra. Yeah. Excuse me, if you don't have an appointment, you'll have to... I don't need an appointment, this is an emergency. And anyone who don't want to get their face bashed in better get out of the way. Ah! Ah! No, oh, it's Avalanche! Intruder sees them! Stop right there, criminal scum! You've broken the... <laughs> yep. Hey, Bob, that guy in the blonde hair, he looks familiar, doesn't he? Oh, I think so. But doesn't fire, isn't fire most effective against humans? Yeah, I was just trying to avoid using Cloud's uh, Limit Breaker for something so low level. I, I got you. Yeah, it's fire for humans, blizzard for monsters, lightning for machines, some variation thereupon.
especially if you do not grind. Management is key in this game for bo Yes. There is a guy that has a replica Buster Sword, and he, like, does exercises with it. Like, I forgot what it's called, but there's a... an Indian exercise that usually uses giant heavy clubs, but he does it with his Buster Sword. Interesting. By the way, Squ uh, Storm. Yeah. Have you noticed that the uh, that the Imperial soldiers in almost every Final Fantasy kind of like have the same headset going on? They have like the three glowy eyes. Yeah, that's a strong theme in Final Fantasy. I think from an artistic standpoint, having something like that like alienates and kind of gives a uh, a sinister vibe. Yeah. It's like the uh, why the um. Predator has the red eye player thing. Well, yeah, but what I'm, I was going at the uh, the Zaku's and the Goof in uh, Gundam. Oh yeah, yeah. They have that one Cyclopean eye because it's, it's kind of supposed to give an impression of this is the bad guy or this is the monster. Yeah. Can you buy me a car? I don't want your damn money. Okay, I see, so... Do you think the tent set is like a normal tent, or do you think it's like capsule core where you push a button and it sets itself up? Based on some of the stuff in Remake, probably the latter. Okay, we are going to... Let's see. Daddy, why is the robot bleeding? <laughs> yeah, about that. Actually, I gotta use the restroom too. I'll be right back. Yeah. I didn't want to start a ruckus until we saved Aerith. Should have known that was impossible, though. <laughs> what is it? You're giving me the willies. So there are times even you fight for other people. I'm impressed. Who cares if you're impressed? You know, I ain't so good at saying this, but sorry. For lots of things. What the? Damn. It's time for Boom Boom. Floor 17. Okay, so regular sec. So, let's see. Uh, no, Ninja Turtle. The, uh, the experiments don't begin until after the meeting between the bosses, and then, of course, it never actually gets accomplished. Nope, not the secretary. Oh. Here's the bonk bot with his bonking mallet. Yeah, we got the poster, Cookie. Okay. I just thought of something that's a neat conversation piece. Yes. One. Do you think Materia has mundane, everyday use? Or is um, it strictly, like, for fighting and material purposes? Ma 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 blah. 
materia purposes. Military. 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 Yeah. Well, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick while you all think on that. I will be right back. Oh, God, how dare you? Hello, it's just me, guys. Oh, the whack-a-mole, lol. I think there's something you can take from these guys, but it's not that big of a deal. I think it's like high potion. It would probably be high potion because you won't get X potion till later on, I think. This thing right here to bustle, I think this is a boss. They turn some of the more um, unique things into bosses. Which I kind of like. Like the Hell House and uh, this thing. If anyone is a Materia girl in a Materia world, it's Yuffie. Matter of fact, I'd be disappointed if there's not a video on YouTube that has like, you know do screenshots of her to that song. Well, here's the thing. With the advent of, like, converting Mako energy into electricity and everybody having, like, TVs and heater, you know, basic modern-day commodities, would they need to use materia? Like, I don't need to light a fire. I could just turn my oven on. You know, I don't... And also with the mass consumption of Mako and it being just, you know, overly condensed, would there be a greater amount of materia, you know, uh, materia orbs just lying around? Like, what's it's worth now? It's like, it's I would say its value is going down twofold. One, it's not needed because of the advent of uh, electricity. And two it's probably being created more because there's so much, you know, Mako condensing going on in reactors. I return. What did I miss? I'm wondering, I was asking, um, do you think, uh, like the magic and, uh, materia have like everyday uses? Like, do you think they use a fire materia for like lighting a fire or something like that? I don't know about that, because it's implied most of the power runs off of Mako energy. So, Mako energy is what generates the electricity. Well, that's what I mean. Like, like now that like they're using Mako basically as a reactor and it converts Mako into electricity, you don't really need like household-level materia anymore. I do return yeah. my lovely audience and co-hosts. And I, and I would say that these reactors are probably causing more material orbs to be created. So I was saying that probably on two different fronts, materia itself is probably being like made in one level, maybe obsolete in another level, uh, at least on household levels. But two, it's basically getting cheaper because... There's more of it being made, and there's less need of it since we have electricity to do all the things that we probably use, you know, the magic from Materia for. Yeah. Uh, well, and in Remake, uh, when Aerith says, I have a Materia, and Cloud says, you and everyone's mother. Oh, man! No, uh, that's all right. My mistake. I'm, uh, not getting on. It'd be funny if that was a guy oh, that was like, oh, on the train. He's like, I'm gonna brag to everybody. Why not the stairs, Storm? Because I... I uh, wanted to get the flyer. Oh, the By flyer the way, requires you to take the elevator? Yeah. By the way, those... Uh, the blade fish, or the, the eels, the yeah. sword eels, or whatever the hell they're called. Oh, these guys. I think you get the... Are these guys you get the carbon mangle from? They might be. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, I believe they are. Um, I think you get high potions from the fish things. I keep calling them fish. Yeah, the sawfish. Yeah, sawfish.
I'm trying to remember if you break their armor, does it make the uh, steel chance higher? Not sure. Wouldn't steal anything. But yeah, that's what I was thinking, like... If, like, back before, you know, modern technology, would they use materia for, like, lighting campfires and such? Maybe keeping their food cold? I imagine they did. If I'm correct, material is exceedingly rare. Because until Shinra's plants, I don't think they could actually produce it. You no. had to find it naturally in the wild. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like in... Probably back in the day, only, like, the elite would have it, or, you know, the, the, the mayor or somebody. Or the warriors. Mm -hmm. Or those who had access to, you know... Okay, no, these guys only carry tranquilizer. Oh. Well, if you go back far enough, if I'm correct, the ancient could, ancients could use magic without needing materia, right? Oh, and there are people in the game that can as well. Materia just makes it something more people can do. Because, like, Aerith can use her powers without magic, and they even imply, uh... Uh, that of some of the other characters, like Red. Yeah, I, the person who had them would definitely become a powerful, well-connected person. Ah, it's the Moth Slashers. Okay. Okay. Keep it's those things that have, like, the balls, the little spinny balls on their feet. Yeah. You know what I mean. Ballin'. Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the tanky boys. Kind of want to see the R&D developer for Shinra's, like, robotics. Uh, that's, uh, what's her name? Um, Scarlet. Oh, makes sense. Yep. I will admit, the whole... Uh, the, uh, where magic becomes kind of just a mundane aspect of everyday life is definitely a trope that I like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, Cookie does like that, uh, Heidegger, uh... Yeah! <laughs> laughter. That just reminded me of one of my favorite pieces of knowledge about One Piece. So it turns out, uh, so one of the things with One Piece, despite its massive cast, is that every character has a different laugh, and it's always spelled differently. Yep. By the way, this is another thing that I used to hate as a kid. Oh yeah, this part's gonna be a nightmare. Yep. You can fight through it, but it's a slog. I think they even say something like, you couldn't even sneak through or something like that. Yep. Of course, now that we're adults, we can do this easily. So NNT, the thing with Dresden is he kind of has to use it for mundane tasks. Because anything older than like a Volkswagen Beagle just beetle just straight up won't work around him so he doesn't really have a choice but to use magic for mundanity dresden comic book character uh the dresden files it's a, i think it has a graphic novel but it's primarily a series of novels by uh jim butcher and what's this he he's like technophobic or something not like afraid so but like magic screws with technology it's a uh, hexing so if you're past a certain level of power with being a wizard you straight up can't uh even like use a cell phone because just oh. your ambient magic will cause the cell phone to fizzle and die yeah it's like that game that tex likes i i forgot the name of it uh, i know which one you're talking about but i can't remember the name disco elysium or no it's an arcanum thank you cookie yeah arcanum okay yeah, in Arcanum, it's like that. Like, technology and magic don't mix. I, I usually kind of like that idea that technology and magic don't mix. And if so you remember, like, 
in our last stream, I was talking about like in, in Magic Universes, maybe make it where like electricity doesn't quite work as like, like it works differently, like or yeah. does it? So real quick to address Cookie, so silicon chips are definitely where the cutoff is, but it is stated that he can accidentally hex things that are lower tech. Basically, the more complicated it is, the easier it is for his magic to make it fall apart. And computers are really complicated, so it happens real fast. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he does. I forgot about the water heater. You're right. Oh, yeah. No, imagine never being able to take anything but a cold shower without using magic. Real, yeah. have you have you read or watched the anime Michelle or Mashell? Mashell? Yes, I love Mashell. I God, read the I entirety of the manga and I'm keeping up on the anime. Bing, bang, bang, bing, bang, bang, bing, bang, bang, boom. If Saitama <laughs> goes to Hogwarts. <laughs> yes, it is quite literally if One Punch Man went to Hogwarts and it's great. Or or maybe if Popeye went to Hogwarts. <laughs> gonna, gonna cast a spell, huh? I think he's a little more Saitama vibes, at least personality-wise. I, I mean, he even has the look on his face, like the, the non plus like, I don't want to be here. Yep. But yeah, it, NNT points out, Dresden makes an SMG malfunction. There's a reason the most advanced gun he uses is a revolver. I can't use magic, but I can pilot this ancient mech. See, all I can think of is the end of uh, the Ralph Bakshi Wizards movie. I'm glad you changed your name, you son of a bitch. Class, the wi other wizard. <laughs> you always knew how to talk to a crowd. I'm going to show you a trick that Mother showed me when you weren't around. Uh. Yep. I cast 9 left. I cast uh, M11. 45. Actually, I'm pretty sure you can look at the gun and tell what it is. The bloody Glock quote. Oh, no. Let, let <laughs> me look it up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the game's frozen. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, shit. Oh, man, right after the hardest part. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh... <laughs> oh, that's going to be it for tonight. <laughs> well, hold on a minute. Oh, no, it's the game. It's not the stream. <laughs> yep. Okay, so... I think, uh... For this evening, that it will be it because we only have 20 minutes left, anyways, and it would just be me repeating that entire section. Uh, so I will do that off screen because there was literally a save in the next room. <laughs> um. Mmm. 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 Right. Okay. Maybe this will convince Run. Storm to go back to his Final Fantasy Tactics run. I was about to say, what's up with you in Final Fantasy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good thing you're not playing a Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> that would have messed up. Yep. All right. Well, you all have a wonderful uh, day, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, anything you guys have to say? You suck at wires. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and you, Rail? Stay safe and have a beautiful time. Yep. And y'all be good to everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye.